Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan Patrick McLaughlin on his channel trying to show you some cauliflower soup that's going to be with cream added to it and a little of this information that I've used this channel to provide you with some content. I have this soup on a high setting because I want to be able to roll this into a rolling boil and this has, you know, one cup of it was frozen. It's actually vitamin K. Yeah, some carrot broth. You know, I like the vitamin K. It's good for your eyes. You know, it's good for most of your vision. Um, looking at this video, I hope you can try eating a carrot. You know, try being like a Bugs Bunny. You know, and hop around. It's almost Easter. You know, the Easter Bunny needs his vitamin K. That's why we're making this soup. And, uh, you know, this is a funny one because Easter's... Easter's where kids get to enjoy, you know, coming to find treats in their, you know, basket. This is a basket of just great information to share. And uh, if you are in tune to it, would you please want to look at this video and try try making it yourself? Because this recipe is fairly, fairly, fairly easy to make. All right. So I did a two to one ratio where there's two cups of water and one cup of that vitamin K carrot broth. And I own a Ninja, like 2000 blender. Yes, it's like 2000, you know, spins per second or two per minute. You know, it's a very fast blender. It's got like six blades on it. And what I'm going to do is because it has a lip that lifts up and I can, you know, add anything liquid or solid to it. Mostly liquid because you don't want to add anything solid to a spinning blade that doesn't seem safe. While this is going to like cook down and roll into a boil for my cauliflower to soften and then become a little less tender i i would have you you know resume the cooking process when these are somewhat you know uh softer and while you try to have a blender at home that can you know do the same replication that i'm trying to forward into this video it's a process that you want to be able to support your soup you know when it's warm i would say that i would add my cream or my milk you know dairy i'm using one percent milk i'm actually you know back at the gym trying to cut on the fat intake so you know summer body i have to get ready for that not just easter i gotta look into but look at it this way you're using something that has a you know fatty uh absorption to it so that it can thicken it but also you know be creamy you know while the cream lasts you know the fat sticks to your food and if you add another fat it can be plant-based or it can be animal but we're going to do a little bit of a nice natural fat it's going to have olive oil i'm taking olive oil and gradually adding it after I've taken some spoonfuls of this broth with the cauliflower and put it in my blender and filled it up, I don't know, um, let's say like 24 ounces. 24 ounces of broth and like maybe uh, like a third, a third of this pan of cauliflower. That would give me, you know, enough to blend. And then if I wanted to get it nice with flavor and with the ability to you know give it a, a creaminess with the with the with the with the milk i'm gonna add that olive oil that olive oil is gonna be gradually added and i'm gonna take it and then when i'm done adding the olive oil i'm just gonna shake in some himalayan pink salt which i'm not sure it says natural but i think all pink salt is synthetic but that could be argued just by the knowledge that I've had of hearing how iodized salt is created. This salt is, you know, salt with pepper. And I'm going to have my, 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 my ingredients of fat, broth, cauliflower, and olive oil. Very simple recipe. You can make this on the fly. And it's... It's, you know, what, what, one of those things that you can use milk for 
if you want dairy inside of your meal. Thank you. If you want to see more videos, I will be happy to upload more content as my ingredients get gathered. Preaching from the kitchen, Dan Patrick McLaughlin. Bye-bye.